Today, more than 3 million workers in Paris walking off the job, just walking off. It's striking over French President Nicolas Sarkozy attempting to raise the retirement age by two years to save the country some money. Now, we're talking retirement at age 62. Now, this is becoming a big issue here as some Republican lawmakers have suggested doing the same thing, at least in future years. Dave Ramsey says this is why you need to plan on your own retirement with your own money and develop your own strategy right now. He joins me simulcasting from his hit radio show. This guy runs a conglomerate, but he always deigns to join me. <laughs> um, Dave, uh, what they're doing in France, will that happen here? Well, I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, we, we don't want to mimic the French on hardly anything, as far as I can see. Um, what, what a crazy bunch of juvenile delinquents out protesting in the street because they don't because they don't don't want to work. I mean, oh my gosh, how hard is that from 60 to 62 years old? So I, I think our comparison here would have to be the Social Security system, and that is is that there has been this idea floated around a time or two by the Obama administration that we need to raise the uh, retirement age on Social Security in order to free up cash to fund some of the other initiatives. I think they call that income redistribution. Well, regardless of what they call like, right, something like this is going to have to be addressed. I think it's fair to point out, as a number of you know sober candidates have pointed out, aren't too many of them, that eventually... For younger workers, maybe raising the retirement age is in order. And I believe what Mr. Sarkozy is pointing to in France is something for future workers, not present workers. But, you know, um, you know, cradle to grave protection from the government uh, dies grudgingly, doesn't it? Well, it does. It, it, it's, a, it's an easy thing to give and a very, very hard thing to take back politically. And thus you get into a mess called our Social Security system, which, as any of us in the business know, has been broke mathematically for years. And uh, neither party's had the political willpower or the political capital to address the issue. President Bush tried to bring it up a few years ago. Oh, man, and remember that? was virtually tarred and feathered about the idea of privatizing a small portion yeah, of it. Yeah, and he was burned by his own party on that one. But... Uh, what is your thoughts real quickly on on what Americans have to do? Just take matters into their own hands, assume you might not get Social Security, as much Social Security, hope for the best, and then what? Plan what? Well, the best, last I checked, I mean, the most you've ever received with Social Security is about 13, 1400 bucks a month. I don't want to retire on that anyway. That's like having to order that cookbook, 72 Ways to Prepare Alpo, and love it. I want more money than that to retire on. And, and so here's a plan. Invest. Save for yourself. Get your home paid off. Fill up your Roth IRA. Fill up your 401K. Build you some mutual funds. Buy a rental house or two. Uh, you know, hey, be responsible for your own uh, you, for your own retirement, for retiring with dignity. Because if you count on the government, which is well known for their ability to handle money, to take care of you, <laughs> it's going to be a long retirement. Yeah, that's probably an understatement. He